What's up, guys, and welcome to episode 47 of Caleb's Collecting Corner. Today, I'm going to be covering some SWAT Cats figures. That's right, SWAT Cats. I'm not only going to be covering the regular line, I'm going to be covering the line that was released over at Carl's Jr. slash Hardee's. The figures are based off of the Hanna-Barbera cartoon. I'm also going to be showing you pictures of some unproduced figures in a book I have. And let's just go ahead and get into this review, people. All right, so let's go ahead and start with T-Bone. He's one of the main characters from the show. He's a good guy. He's got his little helmet on with red. He's got black, like, uh, mask on. His nose has a little scuffing on it there. He's wearing his jumpsuit because they are pilots in the show. It's a blue jumpsuit. It has some black on it. He has little uh, communicator things there or something. He's also got red straps there. He's not wearing any shoes, so you can see his feet. He's wearing gloves. Go around to the back. It's actually almost like suspenders he's wearing. And he's got his tail there hanging out the back. He came with an accessory that's like a handcuff style accessory. But it looks like it has a couple missiles that would shoot out. Pretty cool little accessory there. And then that would probably slide on the other end of one of the bad guy figures. All right, here is Dr. Viper. On the show, I remember he got really big, almost like Godzilla-like, but great face sculpt on him there. He's like drooling. He's got purple spikes coming out the top of his head. He's got blue stripes on him. He's got some like jagged toes. He's got sharp black fingernails. He's wearing kind of a little, what on the show I remember he's a doctor, so it was like a lab coat. And that's what's remaining from it when he got transformed. And he's also got some cuffs on his feet there. His tail is big and fat and wide, and it has some uh, blue stripes down it as well. He also came with a gun, too, that I do not have. And this is Dark Cat. He is purple, he's got like a black mask on, he's got evil red eyes, he's got some like mechanical, almost like Terminator stuff with his skin ripping through. And he's got like red and blue and green wires going through his arms. He's got kind of like a pointing at you, he's got that Hulk Hogan you going. He's got black shorts on with some green straps there, he's barefoot as well. Go around the back to him, he's got some more wires, he's even got some wires on the back of his head. And he's got a purple tail. Originally, he came with a cape and also a hood. And he came with a gun as well that I don't have. I'll be showing you a picture of that, though, shortly. Here's where Dark Cat has his gun, his hood, and his cape. And here's Razor, the other figure I don't own with his crossbow. And this is one of the Carl's Jr.'s figures. It's the only one I own. I think it's Razor. It's the other SWAT cat, and he's in, like, a jumping little... Uh, I think like they're parachuting out of their vehicle, their plane or whatever, but pretty cool little figure. There's three more in the toy line I'll be showing you pictures of here shortly. Here's the T-Bone Carl's Jr.'s figure. I think he extends at the waist. Here's the motorcycle vehicle. I believe that's Razor that's riding on it. And this is the plane. It's still in the baggie that it came All in. All right, so here is the picture in the book. It's got a picture of both SWAT cats. They both have crossbows there, and you can see there's the Razor figure as well. Uh, if you go down, the dark cat actually has a different head sculpt. His ears go out. And also over here are the two big ones. The Metalli cats, where it's Molly Mange and Mac Mange. These two were never produced. And super, super cool figures. I wish they were. Also, here's a mock-up of the packaging. It's different than what the released ones look like. And actually at the top of this page, it says that they were supposed to have a cat fighter jet and also a cyber motorcycle. So that would have been sweet if those got released as well. But yeah, those figures are awesome.
All right, guys, so that was my review of the SWAT Cats toy line. It's a really big bummer those two figures weren't released. If you happen to have a lead on any of those prototypes, please slide in my DMs. I would love to get my hands on either of those figures. It's also a bummer about the ship and also the motorcycle that were never released. The ship was a super big part of the show, as I remember, with them both being pilots. But if you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really, really helps out. Uh, share this video, you know, trying to get the channel to grow, and I bet you sharing the video will definitely help out. But I'll catch you guys next time on Caleb's Collecting Corner.